Hey guys, this is Steve Huff, stevehuffphoto.com. I'm here today with a brand new, well not really brand new, but a new lens to show you guys. It's beautiful. It is the Leica 50 1.4 Sumalux Aspherical, but the limited edition black chrome version, which also takes us back to the design and style of the 1959 like a Sumalux. As you can see, what I like about this design is first of all, it looks classic. It looks awesome. You have a full metal hood here that comes off if you don't want the hood. And the difference between this and the standard 50 Sumalux is this has a serious heft to it. You can this is this feels much more solid than the standard 50 Lux. It's also a 43 millimeter filter thread compared to the 46 of the standard version. You can see the red uh, print here on the scale. It's a very nice lens. Now the cool thing is this works amazing on the SL which as you can see there's currently a 50 Summicron attached. Here's a 90 Elmerit which also works amazingly well on the SL but what's really cool is I used to have many years ago I'm talking like the Leica M8 days I had this exact lens but at the time they released a special edition the LHSA edition the Leica Historical Society edition um, today that lens used if you can find one goes for around 7500 the LHSA model that I bought probably, or it was around when the M8 was out, um, I paid $3,600 for it, and I later on sold it for $8,000 because the value of that lens went up. It was a limited edition. It looked just like this one. Same design, same filter size, same everything, except the LHSA came in black paint or chrome. This comes in matte black chrome. This lens can be had for 3900 the standard Sumalux is around 36 so for 300 more you're getting this scalloped focus ring design you're getting a limited edition there's only 500 pieces of this lens that has been made that have been made and that was the same thing with the LHSA edition and today uh, if you read the article on my website about this new lens there's a link to a used LHSA lens on B&H Photo for $7,500 it's exactly this lens right here, except this is brand new. Um, so this is a lens one can buy, one can hold on to for five, six, seven, eight years, and it will go up in value because it's only 500 were made. You cannot buy the Sumalux Spherical in this body shape unless you're buying a really old one, which will not perform anywhere near the level of this one. So I just wanted to show you guys the uh, special limited edition. Uh, chrome, black chrome 50 Lux. Many times these hoods sell for 300 bucks alone. So um, this lens comes in a standard box, doesn't have one of those big refrigerator boxes. But I bought mine from Ken Hansen, legendary Leica dealer. He has a few of these in stock right now. B&H Photo has them in stock for normal retail price or like 3900 bucks. So if you're thinking about buying a new 50 Sumalux, a spherical, brand new, I would strongly urge you to go with this one while there's still a few available left in the world because this lens will never go down in value. You're not paying an obscene amount of money for it like the 7500 of the LHSA edition while it is still very expensive at 3900 I'm telling you this lens will not go down in value uh, over the long term where a lens like the old 50 Summicron does and will and has um, because there's nothing limited about this one but there is with this one. 500 were made. So this is a fantastic lens. So there's the 50 Lux Aspherical 1.4 Special Edition. Uh, there's the 50 Cron next to it which is for sale for 1250 bucks. I also have a 90 Elmerit for sale for 1250 bucks. This is the latest version before it was discontinued. Um, and this is an awesome, awesome 90. 
Um, those are posted on my website, astifaphoto.com. This is January 2016. Um, so if you're watching this in January of 2021, they are no longer for sale. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this 50 Sumalux limited edition. It's a beautiful lens. Um, you can see more of it on my website at stevehuffphoto.com. And there's some photos from it, a little more text, basically what I said here. And if anybody's looking for a 50 Lux, a spherical, I would highly recommend going with this one while there's a few left. Because it's not going to sink in value uh, like the other ones. Simply because it's a limited piece. So there you go. Always come back to stevehuffphoto.com each and every day for something new like daily inspirations, guest posts, articles, or full-fledged reviews, and I will see you there. Bye.